I am the rocket man they talk about. I jump from star to star, I walk it out. What is happening, guys? It should be 2142. Here again with more Battlefield Bad Company 2 PC. This is Laguna Preso Rush. This is part two from the part one. So if you have not watched that, please check it out and you'll understand more of what's going on here. I'll break it down for you quick if you haven't. I was on Skype. So this would be a live commentary if I wish. I could just take off my commentary right now and you could listen to what we were actually saying to each other on Skype, but I won't. This is guys from Don't Revive Me Bro, Chris Red Dragons, and D Crew. So that's what was happening there. Let's start off with a viewer question of the video from Dash How. But Shibe, I have a question. You said you used to play Battlefield 2142 competitively. This is true. Do you want to talk about your competitive life? And what would you like to see from 2142 in Battlefield 3? Alright, everyone, get your popcorn. So sit back and relax. You are listening to 2142 FM, The Shibs. So it is true, I did play Battlefield 2142 very competitively. I played on a Simix Gaming, which they are no longer around. But we were the best Titan team, which is 12v12 at the time. We were undefeated. I believe we went between 13 and 15 0. So we were never defeated. And that was in TWL, Team Warfare League, which uh, was the only 2142 league that was running Titan mode at the time. So that's where I popped my competitive chariot in 2142. And speaking of Titan mode, in Battlefield 3, obviously that would not make sense if there was Titan mode, which to this day I still think Titan mode from 2142 is the most epic of epic game types to date. And I'm really happy that Chris Red Dragons, who basically runs Don't Revive Me Bro, if you have not checked out their website, do it. It's a great Battlefield community and they do a podcast, which is really fantastic. They talk about Battlefield pretty hardcore, like they cover a lot of good topics, but right now, let me talk about actual in-game. We're at 20 tickets or less, and I am grenade spamming like a boss. Like, I'm going double grenades, 40 millimeter spam, and that's what you have to do, especially if I'm playing, which from part one you know this, the submissive, laid-back, squad leader, more tactical, not going full hardcore, SV-98, no scope, 720 backflip, chocolate sauce kill montage. So that's what's going on here. And let me get back to the question that was posed by the viewer. What do I want to see in Battlefield 3? I'll talk about more about 2142 competitiveness in a second, but what I'd like to see in Battlefield 3 would be the revised system fixed, which they are working on. So that's kind of already there, but I still have not seen it yet. I would like to see the, the damage boosting and uh, health buffing from the body armor and magnum ammo taken away, which they are working on, which is cool. Um, I would also like to see some kind of restriction on how many snipers there can be on one team. I'm not saying restrict the recons if you want to use like a shotgun or something, but how many sniper rifles and 12x scopes there can be because only so many are really that helpful. Maybe narrow it down to if it's say a 64 player map which would be Conquest, so 32 per team, maybe 5 sniper rifles with 12x scopes. Something like that. And they are also doing uh, a gameplay mechanic where if you're prone with a sniper rifle and you sit there for so long, eventually your, your lens will start reflecting and people will be able to know where you are, which is great. But I want to know what's the threshold on when someone just moves a little bit, does that count as no longer camping so then that reflection then disappears? I kind of need to know the specifics on that before I really say like, oh man, yeah, that's definitely a way to fix the game. In addition to that, I would also like to see no overpowered explosives such as our favorite rocket launcher, of course, Carl Gustav, with damage explosive bonus and the double explosive ammo, which is just crazy. Like, that gun, why is it in the game? It doesn't need to be in the game. There is no reason. The regular RPG and AT4 are plenty good enough. They get the job done 
Why does the Carl Gustav need to be in the game? Anti-infantry, that's a joke. RPG does fine. I would also like to see a theater mode, which would really help video makers like myself and other montage makers make easier cinematics or some kind of battle recorder that would let us view our prior matches and different angles and stuff like that instead of just first person. That would really make stuff so much easier. And going on that, with the whole esports and competitiveness and all that good stuff, competition for Battlefield really needs a spectator mode, where I've tried shoutcasting or live streaming, whatever, actual matches, where I'd have to go with my guy and actually run up on some mountain or construction site and pull up my mortar scope, and that's how I would live stream the whole match to the viewers. And that's ridiculous. There should be some way to spectate and be able to view what's really going on without having to spawn in and run somewhere in a corner. Also, in addition to that, again, is being able to spectate but go in first person. That's something that's never been in a Battlefield game, is first person spectating. There has been the third person chase cam, but never you see what someone else is actually seeing and doing. Like, it'd be so much easier to tell if someone's cheating that way. Because you just be like, oh look, he's toggling. It's, he's aimbotting. Easy. Bam. I think that would be great. Lastly, because I could go on probably all day about what I would like to see in Battlefield 3, is I want to see the weapons be legitimately balanced. In this game it feels like, if anyone plays competitively, the MG36 for the medic class is always the weapon that is used. For assault, arguably the best weapon is the AN94. For engineer, usually the ump is the best, but then if the Carl Gustav isn't banned, people just run that because there's no rocket drop off. Basically, the rockets are fast, the damage is fine. So, back to actual gameplay here. This is the fourth set of Laguna Preza on Rush. This is on the ATF server, I believe. And once again, this map is huge. The round is quite long. And I think I pull out the mortar strike and try to mortar strike that uh, wall there just because there's so many dudes chilling behind. So I'm going to run up here and try to arm the site. And I believe I get shot. And I'm just like, no, forget that noise. I, I'm not having any of that. And it's funny because the medic there and my squad then throws the med pack at me like I was gonna die in that spot, but I'm like, no bro, I'm gonna get behind this tree here. Like, OMG Google, don't think I'm gonna die on you, son. So enough of the VSS super sexy commentary for a second. I'll talk more about my 2142 competition experience. I played in probably every league there was. I played in Cal, C-A-L, which my team, Hot5, which I basically ran, we were a sister team of Team Hot, which, until Bad Company 2, they were the best Battlefield team in the world. They pretty much won everything. And a lot of the guys are still around today, but others obviously moved on. With life, they were kind of the older guys, they weren't young kids or anything. So if any of you Team Hot guys are actually watching this video, let me know, that'd be really interesting. So Team Hot 5, which once again I basically ran, designed the logo and all that good stuff, made t-shirts. We uh, traveled to QuakeCon 2007 to compete in Quake Wars. Anyways, that's just a whole other story. Is that we won the Season 1 6v6 Fast Attack for Cal. Which, I mean, didn't net us any money or anything, but it was a pretty big thing. Like, we dominated some really good teams. So we were definitely one of the better teams in 2142 at the time, which... Uh, Team Hot and other sister teams, which we were, never won a championship like that before, so that was really cool. So that's really all I want to talk about in my 2142 competition experience for now. And right now, back to the gameplay, still going Recon, VSS, Super Sexy. I'm going the left flank. This is the last stage, I believe, stage 5. And this is one of, I think, the easier stages at times. And right now a bunch of guys lined up at that rock, and right now the VSS is not the best at long range because the burst is kind of wonky and awkward at times. It's really good up close, especially running Magnum Ammo, which I am right now. I think I'm using Lightweight and Magnum Ammo as my specs. So if you get close to the anyone, enemies, 
you can pretty much just no scope complete full auto on them and it seems like they'll die basically in three or four shots essentially it's a mix between an smg and a sniper rifle which gives it its full auto and also long range effectiveness kind of a different gameplay mechanic than the bolt action rifle with all the reload canceling no scope 720 chocolate sauce headshots which in my opinion are played out and are featured basically in every montage these days is a no scope and then basically flanking a whole team from behind and then shooting them in the back so that's that here is some more gameplay commentary which i prefer and i enjoy more is actually talking to you guys answering questions it kind of it's more personal than using someone else's music one problem when using the vss with lightweight and magnum ammo is you will chew up ammunition like mad you will literally be reloading your magazine so often because it's so reluctant to actually get maybe more than three kills per magazine it just doesn't happen oh my god gmail shibby but shibby eh? like a boss so anyways my shibby's question to the viewer is what do you want to see your number one thing in battlefield 3 if you could pick one thing and realistically you could say i want to see the dinosaurs take the panties off well while that is a great answer that will not happen so make it realistic and something that would actually be implemented into battlefield 3 by dice published by electronic arts so there you go let me take a famous shibby 2142 digression moment and say on one of the don't revive me bro podcasts Daniel Ginto Matros, DICE's community manager, he was talking about a lot about Battlefield 3, a lot of good information, couldn't really say much, a lot of no comment, and a lot of yes, a lot of that, which is fine. But I guess DICE right now, at this moment in time, they're looking for another community manager. I'm like, shit, son, I should apply for that. I mean, my, my lease in Minneapolis ends August 31st, so I can move which you have to move to Sweden. I'm known in the community. I can represent Battlefield. I can sell Battlefield. I think I'd be the perfect person. I mean, I'm young. I love adventure. I'd love to move to Sweden. All the blonde bombshells and all that good stuff. So, I don't know. We'll see what happens there. But wouldn't that be a just so baller? I mean, that's just balling to me, son. That's balling to me. Should be working at Dice. Having the inside scoop. Never be able to tell anyone what's going on. Probably can't post any more YouTube videos. That would be crazy. I'd just be like, hey, Mr. Demise99 on Twitter. Why are you putting Carl Gustav in Battlefield 3? Let me give you my three cents. Let me sit you down and talk to you a little mano y mano. And tell you what the people want. And that's no more CG. Although... You know, praise the king of Sweden, Carl Gustav. If he didn't know that, that's who it is. So, <laughs> kind of interesting story there. But anyways, none of that. I really do not want the CG. That thing is so ridiculous. And just makes me QQ, rage, makes me jelly. Shibby, but shibs. Shibby. You raging, bro? You mad? Yeah. CG's redonk. Wouldn't that be interesting? Wouldn't that be something special? Shibby basically helping on the development cycle of Battlefield 3? I think so. Although Community Manager would have no part in that, at least I'd have some kind of in to say something. I don't know. That's what I gotta say about that. And for some reason, I changed the Engineer class so I can spam RPG. I have no idea what my thinking is on this. I'm using the Ump, the DLC skin of it. I'm following my squad mate here and I believe we try to wrap around he gets killed and then I try to kill the guy that killed him but the PKM that I pick up here is just not enough firepower to bring him down. So I was just in a rough spot. You really can't win that and I don't know I lost him in the, the bushes there in Red Dragon. Chris you got me son. And I was really just all over the board here. I see that my squad mate is behind enemy lines. I'm like, alright, I'll spawn, uh, 
What am I spawning here? Oh, I bring out the big guns. AN-94, smoke grenade, red dot. So, this is probably my favorite assault weapon. Not because it's powerful, it's because of the two-shot burst. Which to me feels like it has no recoil, and I can put the shots pretty much on target every time. And there I was trying to shoot a smoke grenade on the point, to hopefully help out my teammates. But basically, I get surrounded here by three guys. You'll see so many triangles that I have no chance of leaving. I'm trying to bounce off a grenade here around the tree because I think they're coming that way. I'm trying to shoot through the fence. The guy coming behind me, I, I don't know. Even if I would have killed him, I still would have been done. So, good shot there, Jay. And the round does come to an end here shortly. We do not win, which is unfortunate. And I believe I am top fragging like a boss, which means I have the most points and most kills. Although my KD, which doesn't really mean anything, may not have been the best in the server. It's still pretty solid from what I remember. So 2.8, 56 kills, 20 deaths. Got first place by 10 points. But in all honesty, the round is really a failure because we lost. So I had fun playing with some of my friends. We were Skyping. And if I was to take off this post-commentary, you would just hear us talking and chatting a little bit back and forth. Once again, I'm Shibby2142. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. I am the rocket man they talk about. I jump from star to star, I'll walk it out.